Hello guys and welcome back to another 30 minute workout with myself, Gracie Collis. So today we're going to be working on the under glute muscle right here. So this is very easy to do in the gym to target this muscle but at home because we don't mainly need to use the hamstrings. We can't do things like heavy deadlifts which is one of the best exercises for it. So if you do have a resistance band by any chance, try and grab it for me and we're going to try and add it in as much as we can. But we're going to do a nice little warm up and then we're going to go over nine exercises which you're really going to start to feel the burn with. Right. <laughs> right, okay, so for the first exercise what we're going to do is we're just going to do a lunge into a curtsy lunge. So if you haven't done a curtsy lunge before that's absolutely fine. But what you're going to do is you're going to pick your right leg, move the matter away. You're going to put your leg forward, you're just going to normal lunge it and then you're going to move it to the side and this is what a curtsy lunge is. So you should feel the difference in your glutes. So join me now. So lunge into the curtsy. Good, so you wanna bring it up. And what this does is this gets your side booty as well. That's it, good. Good, so you should feel the difference. You should go nice and wide, just like this, and you should really feel it in that glute. So you wanna go nice and low, and you wanna make sure that your knee is going down, not forward. Carry on, so we've got 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change legs for me. Okay, so back into the lunge, into the curtsy. So you are going to feel this in your quads as well. I promise you that is normal. Don't think, oh, I'm feeling it in my quads more. I promise you, you're feeling your glutes. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it there. Okay, legs nice and wide. Okay, now a little bit wider. Knees facing outward, toes facing outward, sumo squat. Nice and low, as low as you can. Chest up. Use your glutes. One, two, three. Push you up. And slowly back down again. So you want to squeeze your glutes forward as well. So you want to go hip back first. Break down now, glutes to bring you up. Weight through your heels. Making sure your knees aren't going forward. So today, I want to practice something with you called a mind-muscle connection. This is really what is going to take your glute training just to the average leg day to really progressing with your glutes. Now this is when you're doing the squat, not just doing the motion, this is focusing, okay, my glutes are now firing, bring me up and down. So you can really focus on just your glutes bringing you up and nothing else. Okay, keep going. Five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Fantastic, right. First exercise we're gonna do is a lunge kickback. So we're gonna do these exercises twice over. We're gonna do 50 seconds on them, and then we're gonna move on to the next one, and we're gonna do two rounds, 10 second rest in between. So, let's go. Right, the first one is a lunge kickback. So you're in lunge, kick the, back, kick the booty back, squeezing it really, really hard as well. Then we're gonna change legs. After that, I'll show you all the other exercises. Right, let's get started. Three, two, one, off you go. So you wanna lunge it down, kick it back. Really squeeze them boots. So for this one, you won't be able to use the band just because the band won't stretch and it'll probably roll up and it'll hurt. So make sure you come down into it. So you're working both glutes here. Here to kick back and down to lunge it. You want to make sure you have your weight through the outer heel of the leg. Really kicking that up. Good, keep it up. So I know this is a bit of a balance game as well. 10 seconds now. And one, relax it there. Change legs, 10 seconds rest. So guys, make sure you tag me in your workout at Gracie underscore Collis on Insta. Insta. Okay, three, two, one, off you go. So you will always have a bit more balance in one leg than you will the other. So I'm expecting to fall over any time. So, as you probably know, you have three individual muscles 
muscles in your glute area, the main muscles in your glute area. This is working the under one, and I'm making two other videos to work the main one and the upper one. Also a side one. Target the hip area as well. So make sure you keep tuning for them. Okay, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax there. Perfect. Right. Back on the floor. Down you go. So you can put the resistance band on now, please, if you have one. If not, you're still going to feel the burn. So you want to put it, oh my goodness, around the top of the thigh, just above the knees, please. What we're going to do is you're going to constantly have your hips up. You're going to walk leg out, leg out, squeeze up, leg in, leg in, up. Just like that, okay? 50 seconds. Three, two, one. Off you go. So, the hip thrust is scientifically proven to be one of the best exercises for your glutes rather than squats. So make sure you always have a variation of these in your workouts. And the one that we're doing today is specifically getting that under, under one. So always push your hips as hard as you can, bring it nice and close, and you want to push against the band if you have one on. If not, keep your knees out. Good, keep up. Keep pushing up. Okay, 10 seconds now. So we'll come back to all these exercises for round two. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, relax it there. So next, you're on your front here, and we're doing glute kickbacks. So again, you can have your band. Your band might ping up, so if it does, don't be alarmed. You want a nice straight back, and you're just going to squeeze it up, so you're neutral, really squeeze the glute, bring it in, tuck the leg in, back out again. So you don't want to be like this, you want to keep it nice and neutral. Three, two, one, off you go. So tuck the leg in, squeeze it back, and back down. So you see a lot of girls just bringing it straight back. You don't want to do that, you want to bring it back out to the side. That is how you target the glute muscle properly. If not, you're going to make me feel it in your back. So I also get asked how many times a week I train my glutes. And because there's three individual muscles, I train my glutes three individual days. I have a rest day in between, and each day I will work on each individual muscle. So that's what I recommend the best. Even when you're able to get back in the gym, try and carry on with that routine. Okay, keep it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, change it round. Also, watch me for tempo. Tempo is a massive thing about glute building. You want to keep it nice and slowly. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Off you go. Good, squeeze it nice and high. One of the main things again, I just want to give you guys all my information. One of the main things again is when you're building glutes, is you need to know the difference between a compound and an isolation exercises. That is a very important thing to know. For example, this is an isolation exercise, and a squat and a deadlift is a compound exercise. And you need to always have compound and isolation in your workouts. Very important. So you can't just have an all isolation workout which would just be high drift and things like this. That's, it's not gonna change yeah. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it there. Okay, back up again. We've got a side lunge, we're gonna push up. So this is our only bit of a cardio hit that we really have in this. So what you're gonna do, halfway we're gonna change legs. Move these up the way. So, side lunge it. Push the leg up, side lunge it. Again, knees always facing out, just like so. Right, three, two, one. Off you go, out to the side, bring it up. So this leg is just a pivot, nice and straight. Your weight is always on this leg here. 
Try and keep your chest up if you can. And you want to propel yourself up and really feel it in your glutes. Just like so. Get a cue up. Okay, change legs. Now, change legs. So you're going to the other side. That required a bit too much thinking for me there. <laughs> Get push up. Love that mind muscle connection. Don't just do it. Think about using your glutes and it works. I promise this isn't all gibberish, it's actually scientific. Three, two, and one. Relax it there, fantastic. Right, we've almost done the first round. We're going back on the floor and we're doing leg rounds again. Feel free to use your band. Just to make it that little bit more difficult for yourself. If not, you're still gonna feel the burn. So what this is, on all fours, your leg is always up. You're going from side to side. Lightly tap, bring it as high as you can. Three, two, one, off you go. So you're going side to side. Good, so this one's also a really good one for the side booty, but mainly for the hamstrings and the upper. Okay, keep it up. And one of the, my number one questions that I always get asked by girls is if I start to weight train, will I get big? Will I look for man? I've weight trained for five years now and I go heavy and I don't look, I, I'd like to think, like a bodybuilding man. So no, you won't. You'll just get the results you really, really want as long as you have a high protein diet. 10 seconds now. Keep squeezing it up. Again, that mind muscle connection is all there. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Relax it there. 10 seconds rest. Change legs. And then we've got squat pulses and then we're doing it all again. Okay, five, four, three. What am I going this way to? Two and one. Off you go. Legs round. Again, if you're doing this with a band, you should still feel the burn and you should be able to get your leg higher without the band. Try and keep your hips nice and square to the floor, please. And again, take it nice and slow, there's no rush. Halfway. Okay, keep it going. Ten. your legs out as you go down as well. Okay, three, two, one, off you go. This one's for my clients, they love pulses. So see how I'm pushing my knees out as well as a pulse. Don't completely lean forward, keep your chest up and then as you pulse out, that's almost like the abductor machine, it really gets that there. Okay, well done. Okay, halfway, we got this. We got this. How's that feel for that? Mm, keep going, 15 seconds, we got this. To the end. Oh, see how still feels this night way train. Okay, five, four, three, so with me, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Shake the legs off. Grab a quick drink. We're gonna all do that again. For round two. Ooh. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay, we're going back to the lunge kickback. So this is gonna be a struggle after just doing all that. So try and save me the best you can. Quickly do my laces. Right. Let's do this, I'd say. Right, lunge kickbacks. Again, if it gets a bit too much, have a little bit of a break 
and then go straight back into it. There's no shame in resting if you work hard enough to deserve it. Okay. Three, two, one. Off you go. So, not like that. Lunge it, kick back. Just like so. So, take it nice and slowly. Look at my front knee. That's where a lot of people go wrong with lunges. They go forward, that's when you're going to damage your knee. So, wait for the heel. Bring it up. Squeeze your glutes up. Just like so. Halfway. We got this. seconds. Try and control it if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. That last rep is the most important one. <sighs> Ten seconds. Then we're going to change it up. Okay. Three, two, one. Off you go. Lunge it. Again, if you have a balance problem, I don't know if you still see me, yeah, you can. Hold on to the wall. You're not cheating, you're just helping yourself. Good. Okay, keep it up. Nice and low with the leg, nice and wide. The further you go, the more you get those glutes involved. And you will still feel it in your quads. You're always going to have an element of that. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it there. On the floor. Feel free to use your bands now if you'd like to. Hip thrust walkaways. If you struggle with this and you're not feeling it in your glutes as you bring your legs out, that's fine, just stay with normal hip thrusts. Everyone is individual, but I promise you, you should feel it. Right, quickly bound on. Three, two, oh no, and one. Off you go, on your back. So push it up, walk yourself out, still push your hips up, and back, and push it even more. Just like so. So your glutes are always under that connection as high as you can. Woo. Good. Again, push against the band as well. Make sure your legs are nice and wide. You don't want them to be narrow. Okay, halfway. Good, keep it up. And we're going to work to the very last second. Hips nice and light. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Uh, okay, on your front. Kickbacks. All fours, please. Right. Let's do this. Three, two, one, off you go, remember, nice straight back. So tempo rise, I always have a little pulse as you can see, just to make sure I'm holding it up there for a long enough time. So one second, then down. One, down. So you can do the kickbacks like this. I tend not to, because then I start to feel it in my calf, and it takes away my connection with my glutes. This may sound all very complicated, the information I'm telling you. So if it is, ignore it. I just do what you've got to do to make yourself happy. Right, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax up there. Challenge your legs, please. Okay. Three. Two, one, off you go. Squeeze it up. So I also get asked about my bands, what bands do I use? In all honesty, I got these off Amazon about, I'd say, a year ago, and these are amazing. I prefer the plastic ones, even though they do roll up, just because you get more 
range of motion in the fabric ones I find. That is my opinion, so if you disagree, that's absolutely fine. But it's not upright. <laughs> no, I don't think. And this strength isn't extra heavy. All right, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there. Right, moving on. We've got one leg, leg, one leg. Lunge, push. Oh, it's my back gone. Right, 50 seconds each side, and then we're back on the floor. Three, two, one. Off you go. See you on a side lunge. Bring your leg up, you get on weight over the leg, and through the heels to bring it up. Whew. Good, well done. Right, we have three exercises left after this. You got it, stay with me as much as you can. And change legs. Yeah, bring it nice and high. Okay, 10 seconds left, all the way to the end now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it there. Okay, I'm gonna chase my mat. <laughs> and we're back on the floor for the glute kick rounds. Right, again, if you'd like the band, please use it without, but I'll do it right now at this time to start. Three, two, one. Off you go. So make sure you touch each side. Again, really squeeze it. So at this point, you should really be feeling that struggle and that glute burn. If you're feeling it somewhere else, check your technique, please. They're often the cause of it. Or you just might be hamstring dominant or quad dominant which is fine, but that's when the glute muscle connection comes into challenge. Okay, 15 seconds to the end. 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it there. Change sides. Okay, we've got one more exercise after this. Pulses. Three. Two, one, off you go. Side to side, really squeeze it round. Remember, don't dip your back down, keep it nice and neutral if possible. Good, keep it up. Halfway. Always keep your technique nice and strong at the main point. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there. Last exercise. Squat pulses. And then we're done. All right, let's do it. Last exercise for good hand. Go big and go home. And no, don't go home. Go big. Okay, three, two, one, legs nice and wide. Let's pulse it. Remember, push against it. If you don't have the bag, follow me. I've got sumo squats. You still want to push your knees a little bit out as well, okay? Let's stay nice and low. So now you can practice on, rather than just bouncing up and down, using your glutes to push you up and down. Halfway. Got this, stay with me, keep the chest up. 15 seconds. Okay, 10, 9, stay with me, don't quit. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax there, guys, you've just finished your under beauty workout. Well done, tag me your results. At Gracie underscore Hollis on Instagram. Should be linked below if it's not, don't hate me. Stay safe, wash your hands, keep training, guys. Well done. See you later.